Hey, what's up, y'all? It's popping this video. Boss to this video by Laugh Planet. This is comedians roasting celebrities to their face. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Don't be no little bitch. You know, roast people to their face. I'm trying to do it behind their back. Do it on social media. No, roast them to their face. And, and we're going to see what happens. Let's watch. And I'll you spin it. I'll, I'll okay. you spin it in front no, of them. Yeah. Yeah. Well. <laughs> so much better with balls. <laughs> Can you picture your career this way when you start out? It's like what you want out here. <laughs> Julia Roberts, she lives next to me at the beach. You know that. Oh, okay. Thanks for all the visits. Anyway. Uh, she don't want to see your old bodies. The little broad never shows up. Come by and say hello. Closer than two blocks. <laughs> you have no lines, Julia. Just nod. Anyway. Uh, you won't come see me. I once we'll to see you. Pete Davidson was Sir? just like Obama, biracial goofball who ruined a once beloved institution. But it turns out I was wrong. Pete's not biracial. <laughs> Good one. And now for the man of the hour. Just imagine a world where I'm George Clooney. That's it. No. Just imagine that world for a second. No, he fine. You're not. You're okay, fine. all right. You're, you're, I asked you to use your imagination right now. Yeah. And I, I know I'm a guest on your podcast, right. but there's no fucking way that you're George Clooney. You're not in the same category. I think that I just you're not ugly. It. You're not ugly, but you're not George Clooney. But tonight we're I mean, he ain't lying to you. the biggest names with the smallest bodies and the biggest dicks in comedy. David Spade and Kevin Hart. Her you see. got Melania a huge 12 karat diamond engagement ring. You should not have gotten her a diamond. Now she knows what hard is supposed to feel like. She's mad at you. That is true. Well, I went to private school, so I never did that. Like, my teacher never went on strike, so. You went to private school? Yeah. Well, that wasn't a waste of money. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Sugar Ray is a great champion. Sugar, we'd ask you to talk, but you know the blacks, your lips lock. He was still busted when he was younger. That's crazy. From Tough Crowd with Colin Quinn, and that's it. Please welcome the virtually anonymous Greg Giraldo. That was, that was great, Jim. I've never seen you be funny on TV before. Have some dignity and stick to radio. You look like Pete Sampras with Down Syndrome. And Katie Seagal, you're an incredible actress. You worked on Married with Children, the show that changed comedy. Sons of Anarchy, the show that took drama to a whole new level. And Eight Simple Rules, the show that killed John Ritter. I'm gonna ask you a question. The hat, it's one thing to wear the hat backwards. Do you have an afro under that or something? It looks, uh, it looks very, very high. I'll okay. tell you what, I'll tell you that what. I, I, that, hey. That's none of your damn business, okay? Whatever's going on up under my hat is none of your business. The only information that you need to know is that I don't have a mushroom on the top of my head like you. That's right, Stephen A. I have a cut from this year, all right? From this era, from this generation. I don't even know what I'm going to say before I say it. It just flies out of my mouth. Is that, how does that work? What happens when you find Thanks. yourself in a situation where sincerity is paramount? Well, you, the way you're looking at me makes me want to cover up my vagina. <laughs> I love him. Madam, if I had rubber gloves, I'd do it for you. <laughs> you look like an Italian dude that drowned and then just still lived. <laughs> you talking about a zombie? Yeah, you oh, fucking look like a like Italian zombie, dude. Bro, your whole career as a comedian is about making fun of pretentious, high-minded, self-congratulatory BS events like this one. <laughs> the whole feeling in this room of reverence and honoring is the exact opposite of everything I have wanted my life to be about. <laughs> De Niro is sitting there. God bless you, Bob. He's got the beard on. Why do I keep showing it? To, to know him is a treat. He's one of the great actors of our time. You ask him. Uh, the Irishman was amazing. It was amazing. Um, look, it was. My, my, it was great. Uh, long, but amazing. Um, 
it wasn't the only epic movie. Once upon a time in Hollywood, nearly three hours long, Leonardo DiCaprio attended the premiere, and by the end, his date was too old for him. So, <laughs> And here I am, you know, I look out, I see President Bill Clinton, you know, I see Secretary of State Madeleine Albright, you know, media mogul Rupert Murdoch, you know, uh, broadcast legend Larry King, you know, uh, pornographer Larry Flint, you know, Dick Morris, the list is starting to drop off a little, folks, but still, you get the idea, it's daunting. He has such a distinct voice. Yeah, yeah, about it too. Insulting you. Yes. You're the, no. You're the weirdest looking person on the planet Earth. Thank you. <laughs> you say that? No, that doesn't insult me at all. That's, that's very kind. I don't mean that as a no, negative. No, no, no. It's just nobody. I can't describe it's just the you. fact that I have a full head of hair. That's what's going on. Well, that, you're hey, right. you gotta read. Read. Oh, did he pass away? Oh, okay. Man, stop. No, 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 I'm not passing away. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, it's just that I just don't have to cover my chin because I'm proud of it. Jay, oh, no, it's not. Like, If you weren't famous yeah. and you robbed a bank yeah. and the dude was describing you to like a police sketch artist, yeah. he'd be like, no, seriously, what did he look like? <laughs> Nobody, <laughs> Nobody, Nobody looks, looks like, like this. <laughs> Nobody looks like you. I can't, I can't believe I'm looking at you all the time. Clint, oh my God. I say it. Nobody else has said it, and I say it from my heart. He looked like Baldwin. You're a lousy actor. <laughs> what do you say about his camera? His face is disturbing. I if he did, I'll repeat, but... Nobody else has said it, and I say it from my heart. You're a lousy actor. <laughs> really? I'm not too crazy. How you doing, bro? You okay? I'm, I'm not too bad at all. I see you've come dressed for presenting Springwatch. <laughs> 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 swag, you know? I don't even... Don't talk about my swag, bro. You ain't fucking pajamas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the world's fattest toddler. <laughs> See, one of the problems I'm running into with the show is the audiences are so sweet, and I appreciate that, but sometimes they don't understand that I, I like to get, I like to get my balls, my balls broken. I think it's cool that you think that you only have one problem on the show. <laughs> Remember the words of a great Negro, I say that honestly, all peoples are alike, we are all working, you live in my neighborhood, I live in yours, right Sam? Right. Are you crazy? <laughs> How many women do you think you've had sex with? I want to tell you, uh, uh, do you think more than me or less than me? <laughs> Way more than you! This guy's a fucking fuck machine! Way more than me, you, you fucking fat fuck! <laughs> <laughs> what are you, are you a fucking liar? I don't even want to see a fucking dimension or a game! This is a machine right here, dude! Fuck off. Every day, <laughs> every day, this guy! Fuck you! Thanks for having me. You know, I, uh, I was so excited to be here. See Shaq and Emmett and hang out with all these comedians. I feel like I died and went to Harlem. <laughs> this ain't a roast, it's a barbecue. <laughs> have you gone to the Clippers game this year? I've gone to several Clippers games. Uh, you, how come you haven't mentioned them? Well, because A, you didn't give me a chance to. No, I cut me off. Yeah, you didn't. Yeah, you I wasn't done. Time. I wasn't yeah. done. You, said you stopped line. me and then you started doing some stuff. Oh. I said there's several oh. teams. Within those several teams, the Clippers was in that. You would know that <laughs> if you knew if you knew talking. If you knew about this world, you would know that. That's what I meant, Steve. Okay? What you do is assume. That's your problem. You assume. The Clippers are playing great basketball. And, uh, I, think, I think that the Clippers are in a great place right now. You want to go Howard to the Stern has been in radio so long, he bought Robin at an auction. Oh! <laughs> Why do we laugh? Black because and white. Because we must laugh. That's right. Look, look, look who became the priest. <laughs> Alec, I first saw you in the movie Pearl Harbor, Harbor, which was worse than the actual Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Halfway through, I was rooting for the Japanese. <laughs> I cannot. They weren't even funny racist jokes either. <laughs> like. I don't mind racist jokes if they're funny. Like, people are so quick to be like, oh, you just offended if you don't find it funny. Or, or maybe it's, it's just not funny. But these, you know, some of these clips were older. So, you know, the comedy changes over time, <laughs> uh, I guess. 
Um, but yeah, they were roasting them mainly at these award shows. I wanted to see them roast them like right in their face. I mean, uh, there were a few clips of that, but I wanted to see more of that. Like, let me roast you to your face. You busted. You this, this, that. You know, I want to see more of that. But uh, yeah, still a cool compilation. Y'all let me know what y'all thought. Let me know what other videos I'm going to watch and I'll see y'all in the next one.